is a mostly a valve organ. A few transistors have grown in it, but I built this back in the um, 50s before transistors were fully developed or not readily available. I play theatre organ. I like the theatre organ layout. The very popular one under the stage with a chamber left and right so that I've got my left swell pedal giving the pedal and accompaniment and the right swell pedal giving the solo. To give you an idea of the voices on this organ, I'll just quickly run through them. Uh, I'll put on 8 foot and 4 foot strings in the accompaniment, uh, just a 16 foot pedal, 8 foot and 2 foot tibia on the solo with trim gives you this sort of sound. Then add an 8 foot pedal to give some definition in the pedal line. Now that sound was the 8 foot and 2 foot tibias on the grate. The grate and solo share the upper keyboard. It's just a means of having two sets of stops for quick switching between one to the other from a piston. Uh, the, the sound you just heard was a tibia on the grate 8 and 2. Here is the tibia on the grate 8 foot and 12th. Something I was trying to illustrate there was the fact that one combination can be used in the tenor octave, the middle octave and the upper octave and sound quite different. And this is quite a useful playing artifice as it says stop changing. I'll do that again, first in the middle, then the tenor octave and then the top octave. So that uh, is something to remember when you're uh, stop changing. Now, <coughs> on the upper manual, that's on the solo, I have a dial bass and chorus, 16, 8 and 4 and 2. I'll add them, I'll start with the 8. slightly different diapason chorus on the grate. And that is the pedal 16 foot bass and board on with the diapason 8 foot and bass foot 8 foot and the 4 foot diapason. There is a deeper 16 foot, but it doesn't record well, or I say deeper, I mean a louder one, a baritone. And there's also an 8 foot reed on the pedal, I'll add to that. Uh, this organ was built before the days of... <coughs> um, transistor or diode keying. It's a fairly simple organ so that you do tend to get the odd click now the contacts are starting to wear after 20 years of use. On the bottom manual, uh, 8, 4 and 2 strings, nice for accompaniment. Also 8, 4 and 2 flutes. an 8 foot tibia and then I'll add the 4 foot. A 
Vox Humana. With a four foot tibia. Now an eight foot reed in the accompaniment is nice because it avoids the left hand getting thick cords if you get low down. So here using the eight foot box humana with a four foot tibia we can go down towards the tenor octave without that thick muddy sound. Whereas if we had tibia eight and four it would tend to be thick. So in that context, avoid playing chords too thick together at the bottom end. Now, we've done the diapasons and tibias. There are also some flutes on the top hand. You'll just have a look at the reeds. The great reed, here it is on its own in eight foot, is rather a thin sound. It's more of a reed to add to the other sounds. Same in 16, 8 and 4. Then the solo 8 foot horn is this sort of sound. I'll take it in the middle and in the tenor. With a four foot flute out, it gives a little bit of difference to it. A small reed called a canura, which again on its own isn't much, but it's used for colour. So that with a four foot tibia. Now on the solo manual, if you've got a small reed, and a, and a four foot flute. That's very pleasant for uh, this sort of chord work. And also double for solo. Now that reed will give a different sound if we put a nazard with it. This will bring out the third harmonic more uh, shriller, sharper sound, which some people may not like. And I have a Vox Humana, which again on its own isn't much good. Eight foot tibia with it. Eight foot and two foot always sound nice. We've got the gap in between, or if you haven't got a two foot, a sixteen and four foot, and go up an octave. But here is eight foot and two foot on a tibia. Now the thing to avoid is full chords. If we have full chords, we lose the effect. It's much better to open the harmonies. Now this organ has second touch, which means that we can play on the lower manual, I'll put the strings on and I'll put the 8 foot tibia second touch. So I can play a chord and then by pushing the 
note further down to a harder spring, we get a second touch counter melody if required. Perhaps it'll stand it more if I put on the. I well, have floats on the accompaniment, and I've got the tibia and oboe on second touch. So, if we wish, we can play a melody with the right hand by pushing the left hand by pushing through the second touch. That leaves the right hand free to do an obbligato.